I already know I got one of those cheap phones, right? So what I'm seeing is like the clouds you obviously see like right here, right? And then when you look here behind those clouds, it's still another sky, right? So the ones behind these clouds ship is like the stratosphere. And when you think if you ever been on the plane before above the clouds, so that means these clouds are so low. So these clouds probably came from somewhere. So let's see, I'm facing, I'm going, I'm facing west right now. So that means these clouds are going north. Let's see, they're going north, northeast. They're traveling northeast. Coming from southwest. The Seattle uh, portion, I'm guessing. But yeah, man, this stuff is just, God is making this move, man. It's been check, check, make a long time ago. When Jesus came and died on the cross for our sins, man. So people who consider themselves to be children of the Most High God and not children of disobedience, we already know that it's a war, it's a spiritual war. Basic instructions before leaving earth, the Bible. Already apprised us, notified us, and warned us of everything that's supposed to be going on. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, uh, proper preparation, you know, allows us not to have, um, allows us to endure to the end by properly preparing ourselves for what we have to endure. And quite honestly, this ain't nothing compared to me. I can only speak for myself because I know that God has protected me, you know, and the faith that I have, it got me through a whole lot of stuff, especially going to a point where, you know, growing up, you know, growing up in the hood, you know what I'm saying? You know, and then seeing people get molested as kids, and then growing up thinking that, you know, people against them or want to do something to them, or you just just in line over here, female in line with leggings on. Leggings are is underwear. You wear leggings like they like they pants, like they regular pants. They're not pants. If you think I'm looking at your butt, I looked a few times and see what kind of pants she had on. You know, just to be honest, you know, and she had like some, 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 uh, thong, the thong, thong, thong. She had some thongs on, you know what I'm saying? But I'm not thinking sexually, you know. God said, when you look at a woman to have sex with her, that's when it's lust. So I can look all day, you know what I'm saying? I'm not thinking about sex. 80% of the time, I'm not thinking about sex. I'm really not. It's been, it's been, uh, like four years since I had sex. Okay, two. <laughs> I relapsed that one time. Okay, two years. It's been two years. Um, I've been saying I've been lying too, huh? God don't like that. He, I, I was lying. I've been telling people four years for a long time. You know, I was lying. I gotta stop. It's been about two years. Going on three years. It's been about two years, one or three years. But anyway, my whole thing is these clouds, man. That means it's going to be raining some seas later on. And I'm out here. I can't wait because I love the rain. I'm an April baby. Uh, if you, if, as you notice over there, children of God, if you notice, Israel is hollering peace and safety. Google that. Israel, Netanyahu, have you pronounce his name, is hollering peace. And they talking about they got a leader. God said everything that you already know um, has happened already. Wars, rumors of wars. Brother will betray brother unto death. Parents will kill their kids. Parents will kill kids will kill their parents. It's all in the news. Google it. Um, you have babies being killed. You got a baby over there in the country over there, ten years old, at a parent Planned Parenthood place 
ready to abort her child, but Christian stood outside talking about, no, don't let her do it. But they have a law saying that if a person is raped, she was raped by her uncle for since she was six years old. She's 10 years old now, she aborted the baby. That's killing. But she was the baby. If God is going to hold that against her, I highly doubt it because she was a baby. You know what I'm saying? God said, you leave one of my, these little ones that believe, that, that pardon me, I'm a little excited. God said, you turn one of the little, these little ones uh, 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 that believe in me away from me. He said, it's better that uh, a boulder was tied around your neck and you're thrown into the sea. You know, what is this video about? This video is about the signs. He said signs of wonder would be in the sky. Look how low the clouds are, man. You can't see that. You know what I'm saying? You see the videos of the clouds in different places. I'm seeing it right here in front of my eyes. These clouds are so low to the ground. They've never been this low to the ground before. He said people will be going to and fro in the end of times. You look in the sky at nighttime, planes are all over the place maybe not as much due to COVID-19 but you see them you see how people drive on the street to and from speed nobody's patient nobody's patient right you know everybody's sexual you see the scoffers out here Satan has come down with great wrath to wage war with the saints and they say he was supposed to overcome us but then you have the rapture that's imminent so if you ain't right, you need to be getting right. This is still a church age. You know what I'm saying? Dispensation of grace is still being given out. Grace is still being given out. You know what I'm saying? So all you have to do is repent for your sins and turn away from your wicked ways. You know what I'm saying? Jesus came to die and was tortured for you to be able to say, forgive me for my sins. For this, that, and the third, S, Y, Z. You know what I'm saying? So don't think you did something so big and bad too much for God. You come with your heart, he's going to accept that. He said, I'll put a new spirit and new mind in you. You know what I'm saying? And if a person comes to ask for forgiveness from a reprobate mind, it takes a lot for a person to be able to do that because they see so much going on out here that's, that can so easily keep them in fear to and bondage to fear. And to come out and ask God, in the name of Jesus to forgive them for their sins come on now the repentance is going to be granted so the Holy Spirit is given for it's for anybody you know what I'm saying he has a chosen race he has a royal priesthood but it's for anybody John 3 16 right he said whosoever calls on the name of Jesus Christ will be saved so what are you waiting for you say you're your ancestors you're not your ancestors people are given one life you know what I'm saying if you think you communicate with somebody in the spirit realm those are demons you know what I'm saying those are demons that could be communicating with you monitor spirits you know what I'm saying all that stuff is just manipulation you got to get away from that there's nothing holy in that and then if you you know when you're on the wrong side when you come across a person that's like me bearing light the Holy Spirit and then you automatically have this anger inside of you the demons that surround you, they run. You know what I'm saying? And they leave you looking crazy. That's because you're on the wrong side. The, they, the demon have no power over that. And they got you saying to other people around you, somebody's coming. Come on now, cut that out, man. God is love. He's not about hate. He's not going to have you in fear. He's not going to have you going out doing stuff against people with a quota to me. He's not going to have you out here stalking people. You know what I'm saying? Put in place ready for a demon to inhabit you to carry out some work. No, man. No, man. That's what savages do. You know what I'm saying? And they put it in the music so people can call themselves savages instead of children of God. You know what I'm saying? We can't be out here like that. You know? God is right there at the door. You know what I'm saying? It's been put in my mind a couple weeks ago to make these videos. And here it is on making them. You know, I'm actually making the videos. Because I actually see the truth. You know what I'm saying? I gave it some more time. Like, you know what? 
Let me see a few more signs because it's just repetition. You know what I'm saying? Russia and Iran, you know, they they have the inner they have the inner um, agreement with Netanyahu for this peace. I haven't read it yet, so you know if you read it and they talking about peace with Israel, then okay, cool. So I have to read it. But if that's what they're talking about, because you know that's a red heifer that Israel has to get to put in that third temple to be sacrificed. And it had to be it has to be without spot or blemish. So what better than a halal like a, a, a Muslim, right? They eat halal meat, all that everything is halal, right? So what better than that? Well you know it's no antibiotics, no none of that. So what better than that? Tell me. Maybe I maybe I'm wrong about something. Maybe maybe I got something wrong somewhere. You know what I'm saying? You know, but I know I don't. You know what I'm saying? It's just we gotta get down to the point of repenting for our sins. God said, pray without ceasing. You know, pray that you pray that you be found worthy of escape. Meaning everybody's not gonna make it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not speaking like I'm gonna make it. I don't know if I'm gonna make it or not. You know what I'm saying? But my thing is to believe that Jesus Christ, you know, got my name in that book, that God has my name in that book. You know what I'm saying? I'm praying that it, like, like it goes. Pray that you found worthy of escape. I believe I'm leaving, but at the same time, I know that people are not. You know, I don't feel like I've been, you know, as helpful. You know, I don't feel like I went hard for the kingdom of God. Like I could have. You know, I allowed myself to be hindered. You know what I'm saying? From fear, from anger, through the emotions. That's what Satan works through. Yeah, I'm guilty of that. I'm guilty as charged. Given to anger, you know, outbursts, impulsive things that's not even of the Holy Spirit. Things is not even bearing the fruit of God. But God has kept me to this point. He said, I would never leave or forsake you. You know what I'm saying? He said, um, gifts and callings are irrevocable, meaning he won't take them back. You know what I'm saying? Because I know for a fact I haven't went hard for the kingdom of God. You know what I'm saying? Like I went hard in the street or for these different jobs. No, I haven't, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and that's a sin of mine. That I'm always, you know, I, all it takes is one time to ask for forgiveness and you believe that it's, you know, you know, forgiven. You ain't got to keep asking. You know, God don't like vain repetitions. People to keep praying for the same thing over and over. That means you don't believe you're going to receive it. All you got to do is ask one time, God hear you. That's like, as a kid... You ask your mom, you in the back seat of the car, you ask your mama, mom, can we get some McDonald's? She don't answer you right then and there. She thinking, do I want to give them some McDonald's? And then you ask her again. 30 minutes later, you ask her again. Now she mad. You keep asking me, I heard you the first time. Stop asking me if you want some. No, you can't get no McDonald's. <coughs> so, there you have it. Vain repetition. He said, don't do vain repetitions, vain repetitions like the heathens do. They think they're going to get what they ask for if they keep asking a million times. So, it's something to think about, you know. Peace and love.